more young South Koreans than ever are buying crypto, with the number of 20 and 30-somethings taking the plunge troubling since 2020. But this rise in bullish buying behavior has come at a price, with a sharp rise in youth bankruptcy claims reported over the same period. For the Pusan Yobo, demographic data on the users of the market-leading crypto exchange up which shows that, as of October 2020, some 1, 796, users aged 20 to 39 had active accounts on Upbit. That figure ballooned to 5, 394, by October 2021 and while data for this year is not yet available, with trading volumes skyrocketing in the first few months of 2022, the figure may well have grown again. The same media outlet noted that there has also been a rise in stock market activity, both domestic and overseas, in the same demographic group. South Korea's Regulatory Financial Supervisory Service FSS, was quoted as stating that a rapid increase in personal debt had accompanied the rise in investment. It spoke of a frenzy of investment in stocks and crypto assets in the demographic group, which has been dubbed 2030 by the South Korean media. The FSS pointed to low interest rates before and after the spread of COVID-19 as a major contributing factor. But financial experts have previously claimed that for young Koreans, crypto investment is no longer optional. Bullish Bitcoin, BTC, and altcoin buying has come at a price for younger South Koreans, who are now more likely to go into debt to pay for their crypto and stock investments. The same media outlet reported that the amount of people aged 20 to 39 who have taken out loans from three or more financial institutions has increased by more than 30% in the past five years. For people aged 20 to 29, the rise over the same period was 33%, and this has all led to a rise in personal insolvencies, 